Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how to create a generic article and how generic article will create different variants. So first of all, in order to work and create a generic article, we have to define characteristics and a reference material. So for that, we will use transaction WG22. and we will use material group H H115 so let us go ahead and create some characteristics so there are already some characteristics that are created in this system I am using them so now this material group I have maintained. I am saving this and with this I am going to create a reference material group and I will use semi finished product for this example. So I have created this reference material and the material number is 5067531. So now let us use this reference material and let us create an article. MM41 is the transaction. I am using the same material group for which we have maintained the characteristics and I am using this particular reference article which we have created just now so now you can see system is asking, asking for different characteristics I will give some characteristics here you can see I can check all the four and now this is the material number this material number is generic article material number for which the variants will be created you can see here the variants are created I am going to further screens the rest of the process is similar just like we have seen for single article we have to give the listing we have to do the assortment this is the generic article that is created
So now we have to do listing. Now, we will go to Mara table and give this and we will give this material category. Now we will give these variants. Here you can see the category is showing as 0 to which is variant. Here you can see it is showing as 0 1. Here it is a generic material for which, due to different sleeve lengths and different color, basically different characteristics, different variants are created. So, this is how a generic article will be created. So, once we create this generic article, then we will use this generic article and let us see how this works for creating a PO. So, for each of this variant, one has to create an info record individually. So, that price will be picked automatically. Here you see I am giving maintaining the info record for the generic article not the variant. Now if you see this has been already maintained system is showing this message. Now, let us go back and go into change mode.
we have to give the purchase group let us click on info record system is asking for availability I am giving a net price 5 and save it so we have to give this net price and currency for each of the variant Similarly, for rest of the variants also, we need to maintain. Net price, currency. I am updating info record for each and every variant individually. Now let us go ahead and create a PO. I am giving the generic article here and giving a quantity so now system is asking to maintain quantity without maintaining this quantity system won't proceed further so now Here you can see, this is the higher level, means this is the generic material. So these are all variants for the first line item 10. So this is what system is showing. And here you can see this is the sub item, which means the variant. 1. Now save it. So rest of the process is same. So now this is how one will create PO and work with generic article and its relevant variants. So now so far we have seen how generic material, uh, uh, article along with variants uh, can be maintained in a purchase order but during the creation of purchase order one has to maintain that quantity manually so how to automate that process so for that we can use something called quota retail quota so in order to do that we have to create a value scale here i have created one value scale so this is the characteristic what we have to do is we have to 
go to zero one and give the wq zero one and one has to give the characteristic and value scale. Value scale is a kind of description. So once we give that, whatever be the characteristics maintained, those will come here, and we will save it. Similarly, there is another characteristic. I have used that as well, which is nothing but whether it is a long sleeve or is short sleeve. So now I have used this value scale. So using these value scales means these characteristics, one has to define quota. So this is the characteristic. This is the value scale I have created, and now I am creating a quota using this quota scale. This is nothing but a description. So in this, I have given everything as two, and I have ticked this checkbox default indicator. Similarly, for sleeve length also, I have created another quota, and in this, I have defined this much of quantity, and again in this also, I have ticked the default indicator checkbox. This I have created using transaction WQ. Eleven. You can change the quota at any point using WQ twelve. So once we maintain this, then we go to create purchase order, maintain the vendor, and I am using this generic article. So my intention is system should. Generate or populate the quantity of the variants automatically. Here you can see this is automatically maintained. So what we have to do is go to quota scale and confirm it. I have confirmed it. So this quantity system has automatically taken, depending upon the quota we have maintained using. A value scale. So now I am saving this. So here we can see this variant step coming, in which we can see how much quantity system has picked for each of its variants. Here are the different variants and their respective quantities. This is a A generic article and its variants are being handled. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.